look like something where you can hang from from up there let me do something this looks interesting oh uh, okay let's see yeah although it needs to be continuous <laughs> otherwise it's going to do this so the pounding is around here what i've done is to draw on all the experiences and all the techniques that we've created and worked with for many years let's get here one two three four five six seven <laughs> <laughs> that i think will struggle I've developed vocabulary of textures and what I've done is to draw on the vocabulary to create this work. If we cut here... I'm going to cut there. Cut here, yeah. yeah. If I can do it with my foot. As we go up, it gets less compact so that we see more of the, of the silver. The bottle caps actually came in uh, recently. By recent, I mean 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. They seem to be a kind of logical growth on, on what I've been doing over the years. Al has a practice not unlike an engineer or an architect. In his mind, he has this kind of holistic sense of a vision that he's trying to kind of instill in his studio practice, but many of his studio assistants come from different backgrounds, so they might be from more science-led backgrounds, more art-based backgrounds, but they're all there in a way sharing in this sense of commitment to a work that's so much larger in a way than any one person's physical labor. I think it's very, very unique that he leaves so much space for the collaborators wherever the space might be. If you're a visitor to the museum and you see this piece, you might not imagine how much work goes into creating it. There's a whole team who've been dedicated to installing a wire armature behind the artworks. Then you've got the engineers and the designers, also the metal workers, welders, and the riggers who put that in. At this scale, the artwork couldn't support its own weight without sort of tearing apart. A lot of challenge, but a lot of excitement to work on a project like this. Well, as an artist, you want your work to have some relationship with the venue. Still, the venue is Tate. I go back into my childhood and think about Tate and Lyle, Sugar, leading to the Atlantic. And so I wanted to play with all those elements. It's cut into these strips and then rolled up onto tubes. And then we unfurled it on this big curved rail. And then we have to sew it together again at height. It really is a, a nice thing to see something really for the first time, because when you've been up close working on it, you don't see it until you step back. All right, everyone ready? Moving. Up more? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good height. Mm -hmm. It looks like a, a man in frenzy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Earl Anachi. The title of this year, 2023, is Hyundai Commission is behind the Red Moon. Red means so many things in my culture, and in fact, in most of world culture, I know, one of the commonest is boilers. When you bring in the moon, I, as an artist, think of the moon as something that related more to creation, fertility and creation, and this element controls it. So I was thinking about this is a world that I've been through so much iniquity and all this thing, but it's still alive. That iniquities and other would come and go, but the world continues. The second year, second year could have a smaller one. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, this way. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. like that. There you go. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> I think with bottle caps, I've never been scared about dimensions. Working with them over the years, I've known the capabilities that they have, you know, that they can expand and they keep expanding. And the flexibility allows them to expand and still be able to come together and remain 
strong. The idea of looking at things in a different way is absolutely key to Elle's practice. A shift in perspective that happens from a day-to-day -day object to a work through Elle's magic. It requires a lot of movement from the visitor, moving from the lowest level, level zero of the turbine hall, up the bridge, looking across, looking to the top of the turbine hall, looking down, to really get a sense of the whole story that's being told. The role of art, as I have seen it, is to continue renewing the world. I think human beings are attuned to wanting to meet new situations. Otherwise, the, the world is going to be very boring. When I create work, at times it surprises me myself. You know, you take a piece of material and you do something it with them and it's looking different from what you picked up. And it tells you that, well, there's a lot that uh, we can do with the world. I have the incentive to continue creating in order to surprise myself and in the hope of surprising other people too so that they can sustain life.